video with the new camera the first two had some audio issues I think I have the audio good so wait to hear me talk about anything else anymore up uh, it's somebody mentioned a directional microphone which sounds good in theory and I would like to have something that doesn't make all this sound wild when you touch plastic I just gotta just know not to rumble through plastic <laughs> the camera close by Anyway, what are we up to? Uh, we got a lot of sets from Prime Day. Got six of those. Six of those. I got two more on eBay for about 30 bucks each. So about eight of those. We got six of these monkey kids. And I have three more coming from Lego directly. Use my VIP rewards for that. So we got that. I have six Hall of Armors. Uh, the one that came out a while back. It was on like 30 some bucks from Amazon Prime, so, and we're doing good. We had our first $500 24-hour day on BrickLink this morning in like over a month. It's been a while, but I did upload about $2,000 in parts the day before, so that does does help, even though a lot of, not a lot of those parts actually sold. Um, oh yeah, magnet collection. I have a lot more, I just have to just uh, get to it, get to using it, just guarding it over. And in the last few videos, you saw that we did another expansion. I don't know where I'm going to expand after this. The only thought I have is putting another um, standing one of these right here somehow. Uh, that may that may definitely happen. We still have a nice walkway through. I don't, I don't want to make it where you can't <laughs> get through here easily. Um, I want to make sure there's enough room to actually get this pool table out if I ever want to get this out of here. Because the only reason it's still here is because it's so heavy. <laughs> I think you got to actually take it apart to get it out of here. So I think we'll live with it for now. So I, I did want to build like a whole station here with a tabletop where I have stuff all around four sides where you can put storage. You know, um, that is definitely a thing that I was hoping to be able to do, but with this, this pool table. I mean, obviously I can find a way to get it out. You, humans can do anything, so <laughs> I really needed to get it out. But um, for now we're working on it. I did put these over here just to, uh, in case I do run out of room. I did talk about it in the previous video that I might take over these two rows and then go down to here, then I have room for two more, just like that as a backup. And even put, I can do big ones there because I'm running out of the bigger drawers. Basically, we're at 4931. I mean, I have a bunch of empties around, probably at least 30, but if I just keep on parting stuff out, that won't last too long. So, and I have a bunch of heads ready here. In my project, I gotta take photographs of those and get those stickers up here. Well, with the new camera happened, this is my third vlog I'm doing. I still have 30 minutes. I've I've committed to trying not to have videos over 30 minutes. If they're in the 30s, it's fine, but if it's like 40, I had a whole hour of footage, so I had to break it up into two for my final third vlog. Uh, so I'm not sure the schedule I will release them. I think I'm going to do a Friday, Sunday, and then Monday, Wednesday? Yeah. Because I think I'm going to do the baby beach on Sunday. That makes... Uh, maybe maybe Tuesday Thursday I don't know <laughs> it's hard it's hard on just four days we'll figure it out mm, gotta watch the road vlog is there a red light on the front of this oh there is and it's recording Ralph did another expansion it's loud in my ear there you go there he is all right, we're giving up on listing cards again. I did 44 yesterday and I did 45 today. So we got to number 89, so that's where we're at. It's the last thing, last time I'll list cards is when I get done 
with um, 241. So are we about a third of the way through? I'll finish that up next week. Anyway, so I got the land bounty out. I'm just make one more determination to make sure I really want to part it out. 70677. Actually, I do want to part it out because I've already taken a lot of these figures out of there because I knew I was going to part it out. But just for the sake of why I decided that, look at this stuff here. All right, so a price guide, you set 144. That seems high. Um, search. So use 150 is the cheapest you can find. I have actually seal. I have this one of these sealed over here. So. Um, so then we go to price guide 70677. Put sure we put it to use. We don't want instructions. And I guess you already, already, already took care of the minifigs, so we gotta put that in the number. So 179. So my theory, I've always talked about this, is we're gonna be adding 227 new lots to my store. And 153 already or 152 already have. So that's where I definitely say, and you're going to make a little bit more over a lot longer time. Um, so you got to think of that. So this is definitely a part out for me because it actually takes longer to piece together sets. And that's fine. I, I, I'm doing that mech because that one is actually really sellable. And I think the value on that one's going to actually go up. Actually, this one is going up. But um, either way. Don't feel like trying to complete the sets, so that's that number 227 is definitely part that thing out. So that's what we'll do. I really uh, hired my desk for this uh, for this job. I rarely ever move it. I think that's where I want. No, I think I had it at like I want to say 104. These numbers are different. You can't see them when I do it. Seems about right. All right. I'm working on building a brick store file. I love that I can like get real close to things with this new camera and it doesn't not focus. So I brought in all the parts. My next step is to bring in my my store inventory, Bricklink store inventory. And then once that is loaded, it just takes a second. Then we go back to the file and edit copy values from the store document, which is just the comment, I mean the remark code. So then I'm, I always move the remark, after I made a mistake months ago where I put the remarks in a, mar in a marker field and then I didn't save the file. So I was saving it halfway through, but I didn't save it at the end for some reason. I do save every file as I do it now. Um, it's a backup. That's nice you can back it up. So. I always used to like make fun of the fact that I've never had an issue uploading directly to Bricklinks, where I had something crash after I entered like 200 numbers for market remark codes, and uh, it's nice to have the backup. Anyway, I put the remarks there. I did find him. I just I didn't realize he was in the set. This is like the best minifig, the Sensei Wu with the dark tan cape and hair. So he's worth like almost 14 bucks as a used figure, and. Um, so, so I brought in all the remarks, so now I'm going to sort it by color because that's how I sort all this. I'm going to delete things that are not here, like that, and the sticker sheet. This is a used set. I'm not sure why it brings in the sticker sheet, but so my first step is to getting all the black parts together and just go for it. So I'll dump it there. I'm not sure. I had my son and his friend sort these by color. I don't know. If they don't really sort by... I don't instruct them to sort it by small or large pieces. So it doesn't really matter. Um, bigger sets can be more difficult to, to upload like this. When it takes more time. Uh, but as you're doing it, like if I were doing this, I'd put all the Technic pins together in one of these little bins or something. Because I know they're just tiny pieces that get in the way. So anyway, got all the black pretty much there. I'm looking for four tires. And I don't see those tires. Oh, they're little. So... We'll do two pieces here. I actually got to get the get these drawers out first before I do that. All right, quickly grabbed anything that had room in it. So uh, 
was like, I'm glad I made this expansion because I, I actually used up all of these small drawers up until 826 and then there's only large ones there. And then I have a large cabinet here, but then I have, I have, all the rest are half and half. So I do have definitely small drawers still to fill up before I would get into the new expansion over here. So, and they knew I can no longer buy these cabinets anywhere as far as I know. I tried to take back three that I still unpackaged. I wouldn't even take them back because uh, they don't have them in their system at all. I, I, had, I for some reason bought six of these. I originally built this with three on each side, or one there and one there, but I removed them and put the other ones. I don't find these that useful. This is just when I'm sorting real quick. I have spots for these in all other places, like here. If I want to open a drawer, I just grab it and throw it up there. I don't know. I just was trying it out and I left it. I can always take it out. Actually, I don't have any more of the tough store drawers. Anyway, back to where I was. I have these four. We're going to just say uh, 683. So basically, I'm going U0683 in the remark code. You got to get Woo put in there, too. I got to bring the prices up. You don't need that, buddy. You don't, you don't need that. So he is just a used minifigure, which I combine them with others. Just put it in there, 558. He is there, and then, so I'm gonna do this next one if I can find the pieces. Uh, three, three of those going into 129. So this is where I can take time at first until you get stuff. I usually kind of do a little bit of sorting right off the bat so that I can see what's on in my tray. So there's one. Look at this says two. This is a single-sided one. So I have a double-sided one in here too. Oh, I was looking for these. I think these are. Ooh, I was hoping that I could find some of the parts for that mech. So I needed three of these for that mech to complete it. I wonder if there's another one. Yes, there is. So I can go knock knock those off, and I don't know, I don't need to order those parts. And I actually did place an order for all the rest of the parts. That was the only part that one seller did not have because I had a couple of industry parts that I needed. Even though my one of this has been deleted, I still had a few things that I ended up getting like 25 parts on there since I deleted it. Um, things that I wouldn't put on there generally when I go through my card system to add parts back So uh, that I need. So I got two and that's it. So I may find the other one eventually in this pile of stuff, but so for now I'm just going to mark it as two and go to 129. So this is what par uh, Party Out use sets. Why I like it because you don't need to go and look for parts. That's it. I'm not going to go try to find a third one. I'm just going to say that there's only two that I'm putting in the system. So, and we keep going. So this one I already have. One is 227. Which is right here. I just turn around, put it away. I'm gonna have to put in a little extra work this weekend. Counterparts, uh, these have never been added to Bricklink yet, so uh, let's see if I have all of them. So, uh, look like the two land bounty, those two, I don't, that purple thing goes on what? Um, I don't see this one yet, or that purple one, but I haven't got through all the parts yet. So, I'm going to look out for those two. Anyway, at least I can get those added if I need to. Alright, the complete land bounty is put in all those drawers. Not selling the instructions, I don't do that because of the weight and shipping, how I have my store set up with uh, flat rate shipping. I will sell some instructions if they're either more expensive or they're small. It won't weigh, they won't add much weight. So we paste into here, verify the file. Get this thing uploaded. It's taking a minute, it's thinking. It's 2.13 p.m. I don't know when I started. I wanted to say 12.30. So hour 45 minutes. So I did I did not put him for sale before, like I said before, so he's now for sale. And uh, if it came to 157. So the pieces that are out there deleted and then the 
the snapshot I showed before was with the minifigures, all of them. So I tried to put most of sailor put in my convention bin. So 1,000 pieces, 338 unique lots. So this is going to be great for the store. Let me just uh, go to the store. And yeah, I just want to see the lot count. 12383. Let's hit the button upload. 12383. Let's see what happens. This won't show it right away, probably. Until you go down here, it usually shows it. 12584. Nice. 423,000. Great day. I was going to quit at. I was done with this, put this away. We're going to head out, but we're not going to do that now. So we're just going to. Just gonna keep pressing. What was it I had to do? Oh, I have to do one more video, and I maybe photo those heads. That's kind of what I'm hoping to get done tomorrow morning when I get back. Um, but tomorrow we're gonna go do something most of the day, so I'll do that now. All right, I got my fourth vlog, uh, rendering and uploading. So that was a trip. <laughs> And uh, so I got these, these are just basic male heads there um, that I'm going to photograph like I did over here. So I've always, well I started with one drawer but then I needed another drawer and then I split it into one female drawer. So I'll work on those, I'll get a, a, line, a line up with those now once I get this done and all completed to do another day. But I got probably about 70% of different ones on here. Female head sticking in there, sneaking in there. This is a boys only club. Anyway, um, there's a couple in there. So, once I get these up on the wall, I'm going to go ahead and sort these out to over here what I can. Um, right here, so. so I'm, when I did this, I talked. I probably won't use the bottom ones right away. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't need stuff there. This just holds, like, tape I use, and then my scissors usually sit in there. I don't know if they're not in there. But I don't need that there. I just need him there. So I can actually just take it. I'm just gonna do it. Just take it out of there and find another spot for it. He's he's easily movable if I need to get in a drawer. So anyway. And I gotta do dual heads will be one of these. Female heads will probably take up half of one. And I talked about it before. This is not every single yellow Lego head that there, there's made. I will I do this is a common head for a lot of city or police and fire. But he's also Mac McCloud. So I'm not going to worry about head stud types A, B, C, whatever either. It doesn't matter. Um, so all those always go in there. I will not make a drawer with a picture of that. I'll always be in this one, even though this, this needs to be sorted out. I could probably take this one drawer and sort it into five, like a row of five up here. You know, the Jake Reigns, the Mac McCloud, the other professor and Helena, and then the mummies. Or something I don't know uh, anyway off topic uh, get these photographed with my new camera here I have a nice DSLR camera but this actually worked I used that for the other one so I'll get it done keep telling myself all this work is worth it it'll be worth it in the end first step is to crop this thing Boom, boom. Kids are doing fireworks outside. There. And then I go to the brightness. I jack that way up because the print prints it dark. And then the clarity helps darken the features on the face. So. Doesn't look like the actual head up close. It looks like really terrible. Like the printing is terrible. And it probably is like that if you look at it in a microscope, like up close. I don't know. But all of them look like that. It's weird. Anyway, just keep on doing that, pull up the next one, edit, and then we'll uh, throw it into my uh, sheet I made with the right size as I have a template, so I don't have to figure out which size will fit the right sticker. Alright, sent to the printer. I just manually put one by one on there for the right size, save on resources for paper. I'm using the same sheet I printed the first one on because I just did one line of uh, heads the first trial. 
So um, it's gonna take a while. There it is, and this is a sticky inkjet glossy paper, so I can just peel it and stick it. So I got it. All right. Not sure why it's so dark over here, but anyway, we got it done. And we did so far, so we had exactly one, two, three, five rows, eighty of them, no, forty of them, five times eight, it's like an eight, and uh, that's it for now. All right, we're on Friday morning. We sold a, I think it's a smaller shanty, six two five eight. 41 bucks for that. So yeah, yesterday I sold the set too. Was it? I think. I had these on eBay and then uh, I asked to, if I still had them, just couldn't find them, so I deleted them and sold them all. But once the next perfect order comes in for that, I'll get them out of here. And okay, so one, two, three, Four cards were sold to this the last two days. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total different cards here. So when you list on eBay, they reward you and help you to sell other things in the same category because they were not moving before. So anyway, pretty good volume for eBay. You get this out and see what's going on the other sites. All right, let's take a gander at. Clink and Brickow on July 15th, 2022. The month is basically half over, it's 31 days. But yeah, I, when I went to bed and last checked to see if I did so many invoices, I was like, wow. I know there's one Brickow order, so we got two overnight, and I think there's four Bricklinks, so 90 lots, 185. A lot less than yesterday, over $350 less than yesterday morning so summer is still here I totally get it yesterday was a, a blessing for sure to have that much and today this is what we're kind of used to it hovers between there and three hundred dollars each day so we'll get it done we are already getting our uh, rates on pirate ship all orders are packed Lloyd left me he was helping me over here the other morning Yesterday, 6 19 a.m. This is early. We'll be done by 6 30 easy. And we're done. Good morning, Lloyd. Thanks for your assistance. Alright, just took my morning break, got my coffee. Decaf, it's still decaf, folks. And uh, it wasn't a long break. Um, and I'm gonna get the the um, checklist printed for this set and this set. I don't think it'll be done. My almost nine year old daughter got pretty uh, happy when I told her she could do this, and she's been doing it. So she's this is what she did yesterday. That awesome. we have uh, it falls from there. This is like the. Our, our small tiny attic on the side of our house at the, at the upstairs. <laughs> uh, every morning there's some of that. Um, I'm not sure how to solve it. I guess you could put a catcher or a little thing there. <laughs> but anyway, no big deal. So this set, we already have all the mini things ready. The base plate. That's not anything. And these are parts that are going to come up, but she's almost got through all the black parts and then these are going to be easier to find because there's not much left of the gray stuff. Well, I guess there is. We usually have this in like two bins or a long, one of those long bins. But So that'll come up soon. And the brown. So this is getting, this is getting closer and closer. So probably another half hour of work and then there'll be all the pieces here. And that's why I'm getting, just trying to get through this. I'm not going to do... <laughs> Uh, these yet with all the white pieces because the white needs to like an actual soap. So what I'm going to do is then I'm going to dump that on our big table and then sort it into these same bins. This is um, this should be mostly bricks. Right. 
slopes. Which one's slopes? I guess this is slopes. This is slopes and round plates. And this is stuff that never got sold a lot because it's just a lot of tiny stuff we built in there. And this is like Technic or Hinges and odd things. So that's how we sorted out the black. Not too crazy. Uh, we also sorted out like big plates over here already and then longer bricks, bigger bricks, bigger plates. And other random things that yeah, I thought, I don't know, this is not really uniform to anything. Um, this is just like you know, bigger staircases, things like that. Other ship parts and arches and things like that. I don't know, it's not, there's no reason to it. I just try to move bigger stuff out of the way. We're getting through it. Hopefully we'll have a next week. Definitely this one will be done, obviously. And those two of my desk I just showed. And I've been asked numerous times in the past how I how I create these uh, checklist sheets that I use. So all I type in is the set number and then type in rebrickable. And it should bring you to that set once you find the link. And then you just go to the export parts here. Click down and go to HTML grid. And you have to wait for it to load sometimes you go to the print and like half of it's like not there. Any sticker sheets? Anyway, and then I just go to print. I make sure it's in color. You gotta have color for this. And make sure that the pages are lining up. See these pages don't line up. This happened on the last set that they were getting confused with the help. See the number of parts is down on the next page. So then I, I go to more settings and then scale it scale it down a little see now now that went up there so just two pages we're gonna print that and that one's ready all right this morning's goal get the rest of these listed and then do that next week I like doing like 40 to 50 a day helps break it up and it's good for eBay to have listings every day multiple days instead of doing like 200 in a day and it gets really no, I don't want to do it but I'm close this will be the last sports cars I have to list out of that stuff so other than like big lots of like 50 of them at a time until they're gone um, and then I'll go through the mail and go from there latest video came out we got some help here but there's a part I couldn't find it I had no idea what it was it was that part and I just threw it back in my uploading bucket. I, I, I said I couldn't find it on the thing. There's no number on it. So it's a really old part, apparently. Um, what is it without pins? So there's one without that. So we have the one with the pins. And it's in yellow. And it's worth 40 cents. So awesome. Thanks, Dad Bud. This Bricklink order I came. So this is just 10 bucks. It says new condition and it is stellar. It's awesome. It's used, but it says new, like, like, like new condition, I guess. So I ended up spending 10 bucks on that and then the order total was 73. <laughs> so that's how you do it. And then you always gotta check. I won't complain about that, but there's a broken arm. So I always gotta check everything because they miss that. So you never know. They're all good. This looks good. The screen job and good stuff. Alright, I believe I have all the cloth I need. So this one wasn't here, which I just bought. So I can let me get that sheet printed out. That so it doesn't have one. This cloth is here for that little thing. And this one was here with the collection. So I'll get that printed out and then that printed out. I think that's all of those. There might be another instruction I got before. These are two extra sales I have. This is to the Caribbean Clipper. It's a little stained, but I'll still put it for sale I'll list it that way. And this was gifted to me as an extra one. So and I, don't, I think that's the one. Uh, these two go to, or one, one, I have these sales ready. This set over here, which I'm gonna, I'm holding off on completing because it has a lot of white pieces that I haven't sorted yet. Wait, yeah, oh wait. So there's a red flag and these three, so I'll take one of those and put it in that 
little tote here. So we'll have that, and then I think only one more set with a sale. Yeah, this one. So I'm gonna wait on that. It's like white pieces as well. All right, my final piece of mail. And these are the parts that I pulled up that I know, uh, well, not these legs, but uh, that I may, I'm pretty certain I need to complete figures, so the rest is just extra add-ins and extra parts. I never saw these before. These are to a minion arms hair piece. They're like 20 cents. I'm like, oh, I'll grab some of those. I don't have any. never saw them before, so I'm just going to put this away. And it's almost 9 a.m. I should take a break for some food, and then I gotta figure out, I'm not sure how long I'm working today, maybe till 11, we're gonna take the day off, half the day off, um, what else is on my list, oh I gotta, I gotta catch up on my expense report, that's the only thing I have left on my Friday list, so, and uh, I guess I gotta get these printed out, these lists, maybe I'll start working on a small one, to make a complete one, so I got one, um, what is it? Is it medium nougat hand in that order? So this is what I've been collecting. I'm trying to get like 50 because uh, I got to meet Manny. Nestor wasn't there and he asked me for these and I said I'll get you some. <laughs> so I think I have about 30 right now. I've been, they're on my list. But if you want to send him any, he's, he's, he's having trouble completing his sig figs. If you watched my channel before, uh, there was a Nestor that bought 17 of those beards from my brick house store and that was him. So I told him. When he came to my booth at Brick World Chicago, I was like, I sold your dad some beers. He like, pulled them out and showed me this is the, one of the ones I got from you. Uh, but if you want to send him stuff, get into building.com. There's a contact him. If you have any of those, bunch of those hands, um, or if you just have a bunch in your Brickling store, let him know. He might come and buy them. I just realized that this base plate is not here. So actually, some uh, Brickling I just got today, I added that store to my favorites list. And uh, so great quality and really good prices. That's how you get a lot of orders. And uh, so they had two of them for $14.99. Like the lowest price, it's a great, great condition. So got them both. All right, so all that I want to do other stuff, um, I always got to try to do priorities first. So although I may not list these um, minifigures on eBay today, I'm going to at least get the photographs done real quick because I'm not working all day, so it's 9.44, you know, I'm not sure when. I'm gonna quit like by 10, or do you know later than 11, so this should be done in 30 minutes or less, and then maybe I'll go to a set, try to do that. All right, we're done. Uh, I don't know when I started, is it 49 after? 30 minutes exactly, 35 minutes, somewhere. Done. It's Friday night. We have been cleaning <laughs> the basement. This more tomorrow. All right, all the convention stuff and the six, seven, eight boxes that were here are gone. I'm gonna slide those back. The convention stuff, and then these we're gonna try to fit a lot of it into that green and red tote. I'm just going to dump pieces. Actually, this tote here, this is absolutely full. You can't even see because the light didn't turn on. It's full of just bulk Lego. There were, a lot of it was in bags, but we dumped it all in there. That is also not quite as full. So, there we go. <laughs> Thank you.